welcome back to today's video. So today I have a makeup haul to share with you. I feel like I haven't done a makeup haul in forever on my channel, but I actually have a bunch of hauls coming up. Lots of new things to share with you. Today we're gonna to talk about makeup. I have a fashion haul coming up. I have a huge Black Friday haul that I'm gonna share with you guys shortly. So we do have some hauls coming up. I know everybody loves a good haul. Today we're gonna to talk about makeup and what is new in the world of makeup. A lot of this stuff is from my Sephora VIB sale haul. Some of it is just random things I picked up here and there and a few things were sent to me. So I figured today we'll just do some swatches, talk about what's new, and then we can do a get ready with me and we can actually put a lot of this to the test and kind of like see how it goes on from there because I haven't tried some of this stuff out yet. So that'll be coming up as well. If you are interested in that, definitely let me know. Give this video a thumbs up. But yeah, let's just jump into this huge makeup pile right here. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna share with you guys is this lip gloss right now because I'm dying to put it on right now. My lips are so dry right now. This change in season, the colder weather, my lips just always get so dry. This is the Smith & Colt, the Shining Lip Lacquer. I am so obsessed with these. Oh my gosh, they are so shiny, which I love. Like I love that like plump, shiny look to lips. And very few lip glosses really give that really intense shine, but these absolutely do. And I picked up this color and I actually have two more on order because I'm literally obsessed with them. This is in the shade, what is this? Life in Photographs. It's a really pretty like light baby pink shade, absolutely stunning on, it just goes over nudes, your pink lipsticks, like all of that. I absolutely love it, but I'm putting this baby on because my lips just need that moisture. And you're gonna see how shiny and like plump my lips look. So here's the color on my lips. You can see it's like that perfect like milky baby pink. I just am so in love with these. I'm so glad I just decided to try one of these. Like I said, I have two more coming to me. They are just beautiful on. They feel absolutely amazing because they're moisturizing. They give that shine. They are not sticky in the slightest, but they last forever on your lips at the same time. Like you could not get a better lip gloss combination. It's just fabulous. And these look great on their own too. They're not like super, super pigmented where you're gonna get like a full coverage lip color. They're slightly sheer, but they have enough pigment that when you even have them on by yourself, you still get that pretty color. So they're just amazing. I definitely would recommend these if you have not tried these already. They are awesome. Okay, let's talk about what else I have on my lips because I did pick up another one of these. This is what I have on too. This is the Tarte. This is the lip paint. Now this is not the quick dry formula. This is the one that stays a little bit creamy, but this is in the shade Namaste. This is just one of my favorite lip colors of all time. This is just a backup because I am almost out of my first one, which never, ever happens with lip products to me. So for me to have to buy a second one really means I love it. And this color is just absolutely beautiful. Like I said, this is just what I have on now and this is going to dry down matte but it leaves your lips more of like that creamy matte where it's not completely like transfer proof, but it really doesn't budge on me throughout the day. And I usually just add a gloss over it because I'm into the more glossy look anyway, but that's the shade. I mean, it's honestly just pure perfection and I love these. So I did get another one of these and that's what's on my lips. Now I'm gonna share with you guys two new lip liners that I'm gonna actually be carrying on Premier Look because I'm so in love. I really test out everything, like all makeup and everything before I put it onto my site because I just wanna love it myself if I'm carrying it. Their lip liners by Glow Skin Beauty are some of the best lip liners ever, you guys. They are absolutely amazing. They are creamy, they are long lasting, the colors are absolutely beautiful, and they don't budge. Like they are absolutely, like I was shocked, they're so good. So the shade that I have on today is this one. It's in the shade Soulmate, and you can see it just goes perfectly with the shade that I have on today, the lipstick color that I have on today. It's like a perfect, light, more pink shade. So creamy, absolutely amazing. I am just like so impressed by these lip liners. And I'm gonna carry all the colors on my site for everybody who likes all the different tones. I personally like the nudes and the pinks, but that's me, as you guys know. This is the other shade that I wear personally. This is in the shade Natural. And this just gives a little bit more of that nudie beige. I mean, they're perfect. Pigmentation is on point, the creaminess is on point, and they don't budge. Like, I am just hooked. These are my new favorite lip liners between these and the RMS Beauty lip liners. Like, I'm set because I love them both. So did anyone else pick up this new Tarte lip product during the VIB sale? This was one thing that I had to try and I haven't tried it yet. So this is something we can test out together. This is the new Tarte lip topper. Like, how stinking cute is this packaging? Got like such a little blingy cap. It's so cute. But it's kind of like a gold 
glittery lip topper. So I haven't even pulled this out yet. Let's kind of see what this looks like. So it looks like that and it's just basically kind of like little shimmers for your lips but I kind of thought it would be fun especially around the holidays to kind of give you that like I don't know like shimmery look to your lips so we'll have to try this out this will definitely be a product that we gotta you know test over top of a lipstick and just kind of see how it looks it kind of has like that whitish gold undertone to it and it just looks very like holiday to me. So we'll have to put that to the test for sure. Okay, I also picked up another one of the Anastasia liquid lipsticks because I love her liquid lipsticks and I'm really into liquid lipsticks. Actually, I've been for a long time just because I just do not have time to be touching up throughout the day. Oh my gosh, like I've just been so insanely busy lately. I throw on my liquid lipstick, it's good all day and then I can just apply gloss on top of it and my lips just stay, you know, perfectly colored throughout the day and with the gloss on top, it's just always more comfortable. But I thought this shade was was kind of interesting this is one of her new shades where did I just put that package it's in the shade trouble and I don't know if this was like a limited edition like holiday color and I don't know if I'm gonna love it or not to be honest it's just it's different than what I thought it was gonna be it's kind of like a mauve type of shade kind of like I don't know I mean I don't know if that's gonna look good on me or not we'll have to see it's like that purpley mauve tone which I just don't usually reach for that much I honestly thought this was going to be a little bit more like like of a pinky mauve but it's definitely more like that purple mauve so we'll have to try it and see I don't know I think I'm going to probably look horrible so during the sale I also picked up these RMS beauty these are the wipes they're the ultimate makeup remover wipes and I think it's just pure ingredients coconut oil just organic coconut oil and I'm just really curious about these they just come individually wrapped so they come in little packets like this and I'm actually gonna open one up I'm really curious what these feel like let's remove the makeup on the back of my hand so they're like these little towelettes and actually they're not that wet oh my gosh I would have thought that they would have actually oh you maybe you're supposed to use water it says also works with water because um, they're really like this feels like it's a dried out wipe it smells like coconut oil but there's like I feel like there's nothing on this oh my gosh let me see if I can get anything off oh wow oh my gosh it actually Okay, it actually came off everything. Liquid lipsticks, lip liners that usually take a while to scrub off actually just came off super insanely fast. Okay, that was a shock to me because it honestly feels more dried out. But when you apply it to your skin, you get the perfect amount and you can feel the coconut oil. Oh my gosh, I am shocked. Okay, let's move on. I picked up this during the sale as well. This is the Hourglass Ambient. I think this is the yeah metallic strobe lighting palette. So this I had to pick up because I'm obsessed with all Hourglass products. They're bronzers, they're blushes, they're strobe powders. Like I love it all. So I had to pick up this little strobe palette because I do use these constantly. Like I use all of their strobe colors so much. Oh wow, those are so pretty. So we have kind of like a peachy pink highlight down here. Then the middle tone was definitely more of that light gold. And then the top one is kind of like a bronzy kind of shade, I want to say. So you can see the three colors right there. They're all really pretty though. All right, I picked up this little lip kit during the sale too, because how cute is this? This is the cutest packaging. This is the Huda Beauty it's the I don't even know what it's called it's just her little like lip kit so it comes with a lip pencil a mini liquid lipstick and then a mini lip gloss so you're supposed to be able to like I don't know what's what's it called when you like I don't know like contour your lips or something strobe your lips something crazy that these kids are doing nowadays I don't know but I just know I line my lips gloss them up and that's what I do to my lips there's all these new like crazy like lip contours and all these things these days but I just absolutely fell in love with this packaging it's so stinking cute so then there you have it you got your lip pencil you got your liquid lipstick and then you have your little liquid lip gloss and they're actually a good size like I will not finish those they're pretty big so it's really super cute just a cute little set this lip liner is in the shade muse and it's just like kind of a mauvey pink that feels really smooth and creamy as well although I must say it's on top of my hand where I use that coconut oil and my hand is like insane insanely moisturized now and then the little liquid lipstick that it comes with is in the shade muse as well is that the same did i just say that muse lip liner and muse liquid lipstick okay so then again that's like the perfect match to that lip liner it's that mauvey pink and then let me go out on a limb here and guess that the lip gloss is muse and i'm wrong the lip gloss is angelic so this is going to give you that perfect shimmery kind of gloss on top Oh my God, that is pretty. <gasps> that is so gorgeous. It's like a shimmer, 
but it's not like chunky and it's super smooth. That is gonna look amazing. Okay guys, we have to test this out because that is just so beautiful and that combination of those three products I think is gonna be gorgeous. So I had some people message me about this concealer. It's the Milk Makeup Flex Concealer. So I picked this up and I'm really curious about this. I actually really love the Milk Makeup. I did a whole review on the foundation and it just worked out really nice on my skin. So I'm kind of curious about the concealer. I've kind of heard mixed reviews on this so I wanna put it to the test myself. So this is something that we can definitely do and kind of review together when we get ready together. So let me know if you wanna see this or let me know if you have tried this concealer too. Let me know your thoughts on it down in the comments. I'm curious what other people think, but I did pick that up, so we will kind of put that to the test and give it a try. I picked up three things from Vapor Organic Beauty. This is a line that I'm not really familiar with, but I got a lot of comments from a bunch of you guys saying that the Vapor Beauty is just a really good organic makeup line. So I was curious to kind of try some stuff out. So I picked up two of the multi-use blushes. And I believe these are like, yeah, they come out in a little stick form like this. And it's like cream blush. This is in the shade Starlet. Ooh, that is really pretty. That's gonna be a perfect peachy pink. It kind of reminds me a little bit of NARS Orgasm with that same color and kind of slight slight shimmer in it, but I think that's gonna be absolutely beautiful when that's blended out onto your cheeks. And then the other multi blush that I got was in the shade Cheeky. And this Cheeky shade, if I remember, was more matte. Oh, that's gorgeous too. This is really pretty. That's more of your cool tone pink, which I love cool tone pinks on my cheeks. I'm just like obsessed with cool tone pinks. That is gorgeous. And then the third thing that I got from the Vapor Organic Beauty is a lip gloss, was it? Yeah, this is the lip gloss elixir, and I got this in the shade Pout. So this just looked like a really pretty lip gloss, kind of like a nude, but it has a little bit of sparkle to it, and I heard like really good things about these. So this is just a basic nude gloss, not a ton of pigment there, as you can see, but you can see it does have that nude kind of look to it, so it's gonna be great. I love just a simple gloss like this too on days I'm running out the door and don't wanna put a lot of makeup on. I'll just reach for a gloss that just has like a hint of color, but just, you know, glosses everything up, and that's just exactly what this does. You can just see it right there but it's glossy, it doesn't feel sticky at all. I think these are gonna be a really nice gloss. They had tons of different color options as well, but of course I had to test it out with the nude. So yeah, it feels nice though, and that's kind of exactly what I was looking for. So this is another new product by Glow Skin Beauty that I've just been recently testing. It's the Glow Skin Beauty, the Volumizing Mascara. This mascara is so good, and it kind of blew my mind because my eyelashes are so insanely picky. I always tell you guys that because they honestly just don't go good with a lot of mascaras. So my eyelashes are very picky, and for me to find one that's a more healthier option for mascara was just kind of mind-blowing to me because my lashes looked amazing with this. It's actually what I have on now, and I've been wearing this quite often. It has a great brush, which is a little bit bigger. It's a little bit of that thicker brush, which I really like, and it just coats my lashes perfectly. It's not clumping, yet it really kind of like pulls every eyelash and makes them super black, more dramatic, and definitely volumized. So I was quite impressed. So because I tested this out and I really love it, I will be adding this to the site as well. Now let's talk about Becca here because they sent me these two palettes right here which are newer to Sephora I know but it's this eyeshadow palette with such gorgeous gorgeous shades. I guess these are all yeah these are all of their highlighter shades like there's moonstone, there's opal, there's pearl, there is rose quartz. All their highlight shades plus some new ones they kind of made into like shimmering like eyeshadows, which I think is gonna be really pretty because I love using more shimmery shades on my lids. I do that a lot where I'll put like a matte shade in the crease and then just kind of shimmer it out on the lid. And I think these are gonna be absolutely beautiful for something like that where you just wanna kind of like shimmer up your lid. Yeah, like they look just like the highlighters. So, I mean, that's what they look like right here. We will definitely put this eye palette to the test and kind of see what it looks like on the eyes. And then this is the other one that they sent me. It's the Glow Face Palette. So it looks like this. Both of these packagings are just so pretty. It's kind of like that winter kind of holiday look. That's what it looks like to me, kind of like Christmas tree-ish. And then this is what it looks like. You get, let's see, three highlighters, you get two blushes, and then you get a bronzer. And I kind of swatched these and we're just kind of playing with these a little bit just swatching wise, and they looked really pretty. Oh, these are so beautiful as well. Look at that blush. 
These highlighters are amazing. And then it comes with the bronze Bondi bronzer, which is one of my favorite of the Becca bronzers. That is gorgeous, you guys. I love their palettes because I love that they give you new blushes and new highlighters in them, and they're always so stinking good. Two more things to go over today. This is another one that Becca just sent me a couple days ago, and one of them in here, really, I was like, what was Becca thinking? I mean, you'll see. So they sent me their two new highlighter shades. The first one is this shade right here, Smoky Quartz. And then this one is Golden Mint. Let's start with the Golden Mint, shall we? Because you open it up and you get this crazy looking highlight. I mean, it literally is green and you're gonna think to yourself, what in the world? Why would you put this on your face? I opened this up and I was just like, no. Like, what are you thinking? I'm not putting this on as a highlighter. It's mint green. But the funny thing is when you swatch it and you apply it to your skin, it doesn't come off green, it comes off more of like, I don't know, like a yellow gold, I wanna say. You can see it on my hand here, that's what it looks like. It's not green on your skin. It's definitely not my favorite highlighter color, but it's not as god awful as I thought it was gonna be. It does come off more of that really pretty, like really pale gold. If you like those like really pale gold highlighters, you will absolutely love this. And then this is the other one. This is the Smoky Quartz. This color I would actually use as like a blush or like a blush topper because it's so beautiful. It has that kind of like smoky rose to it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I would just kind of lightly dust this over a blush and I think that would be so pretty because for me as a highlighter, that just wouldn't work for me as a highlighter. It's too dark, too rosy. It just is not gonna match my skin tone, but I think for a blush topper, like that would be gorgeous. So those are their two new shimmering skin perfectors that they just came out with. Then Color Science sent me this little package here. So I guess they came out with this new product that we will definitely have to test out together. And then they sent me a couple other things because I really don't have anything from this line, but it's an interesting line because it's all better for your skin ingredients again, and it's supposed to kind of like help cover up like skin conditions and stuff like that. So this is their new product that was just released. It's the Color Science All Calm. It's the clinical redness corrector, instantly neutralizes redness and soothes sensitive skin. It also has a broad spectrum SPF of 50. So I actually reached out to this company to find out just a little bit more about how to use this because I personally will never give up my own SPFs for kind of like a product like this, but they actually told me that this was actually a more so along the lines of like a primer. So you would apply this as your primer and it really helps to smooth your skin and just help to counteract any redness in your skin. So we will definitely have to put this to the test. It does come out, it looks like in a greenish, is it a greenish tint? No, it's not really green actually. It's more so just like of a tan, kind of lightly tinted look. And then again, that's just supposed to even out your skin and balance out redness. And then it just gives you that extra SPF protection. But we will definitely use this as a primer and kind of see how that works. And then they sent me their Mineral Corrector Palette. It's the all-in-one color correcting pressed palette. So it looks like this and it has all your correcting colors in it. Now these are powders, which I found interesting. A lot of times like color correcting palettes are more like creams so that they blend under your foundation a lot. So I'm thinking you're supposed to put these over top of your liquid foundation. I have to kind of research and see how you're supposed to use this. If you know, let me know in the comments below um, because I'm thinking because they're powders, you want to apply them after and kind of cover any areas that you want to cover after your liquid foundation. So we'll play with this though. I just have to figure out how to use this. And then they did send me their foundation. It's the Whipped Foundation, Creamy and Lightweight, Multi-Vitamin Infused, Water Resistant, 40 Minutes, Broad Spectrum SPF 30. So we will definitely put this to the test. I have not tried any foundations by them. I don't know if this is their only foundation or what, but it looks like this. We will put this to the test and kind of play with that. And then the last thing they sent me, which I actually already have and I have used this many times, it's their brush on sunscreen. So this is a great way to kind of like throw this in your purse and then touch up your SPF over your makeup throughout the day. A lot of people ask like, how are you supposed to retouch throughout the day if you're wearing makeup? This is just an easy option, just an easy way to kind of do that. Now, if you are out in the sun, like the direct sun, I would suggest like just not wearing makeup and just reapply your sunscreen like your actual sunscreen throughout the day but if you're not really like in the sun all day long and you're you know in and out of the office or running errands and you have makeup on and you just want to you know quickly lightly touch up your you know SPF throughout the day this is just a really great option because you get your little brush like this 
and then you push up the powder, which kind of just sets your makeup again, but then you're also getting that SPF at the same time. One more thing here that is brand new that I almost forgot to share with you guys, Pure Cosmetics sent me their contour diaries. So we will definitely be playing with this and seeing how this works. It's a cute little palette and it has all your powder options for contouring, for highlighting, and I like it because all of the highlight shades are matte. I mean, all the contour shades are matte too, but a lot of times companies like this will give you all like shimmery highlights, but if you're going for like an everyday, more just natural look, sometimes, uh, hopefully these will be good, we'll test them out, but I like matte highlights to kind of give you that glow, but not look overdone for the daytime at the same time. So the colors look really nice, you have some cool tones, you have more neutral tones. I think this could be really good, so so let's hope and I will try this out with you guys. That is everything and that is it for my latest makeup haul here. Definitely let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see a get ready with me video where we can apply all this makeup, play with it, and just really see how it works on my skin. Don't forget to subscribe if you are not already. I have some really good videos coming up including some huge hauls. So if you are a haul video fan, then stay tuned. But thank you guys so much for watching today. I love you all and I will see you next time. Bye!